Hey guys, welcome back to my shop. Today we are going to be cutting our body shape out of our body blank. Uh, so before we begin, I'm going to go through all the tools and everything we're going to need for this process. Uh, we've got our body template, we've got our body blank, we've got a straight edge to create the center line in our body blank, pencil to do that with, we've got a sharpie that we're going to use to trace our template onto our body blank, we've got my absolute favorite favorite stuff in the world. This is called spec tape. And it's a double stick tape. It's the best I've ever found. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can buy this. Safety glasses, um, ear protection. We're going to use our bandsaw with a pretty narrow blade to cut it out um, so that we can get those nice uh, tight curves around our body, body shape. Um, if you have a, a blade with a pretty wide blade like, like this guy here, it's not going to want to take curves very well, um, and you'll have to do a bunch of relief cuts. Uh, so we want a, a pretty narrow blade. You're also going to need a, a router, uh, preferably a router table, um, because if you just have just a standard hand router, there's a chance that it could tip a little bit, and on a router table that completely eliminates that, that risk. So. Um, I'm going to draw the center line here, transfer the shape out with the sharpie onto our blank, and then we're going to head over to the, the bandsaw. So here we go. Alright, so we've got our shape traced onto our body blank here. Uh, now let's go over to the bandsaw and cut it out. Alright, so we've got our shape cut out of our body blank. Uh, now we're going to double stick tape our template to this cutout portion, and then we're going to take it to our router table. Um, we've got a got a router bit with a bearing on it. Uh, this is called a top bearing or like a pattern bit, um, usually because it's put in a normal router and it's run along this way. So the bearing is going to ride along our template. Um, and it's going to transfer that, that shape onto our body blank. Once that first pass is done, that'll be enough. We can take the template off so that we can get the full depth of our body. So, let's tape this guy on and then take it to the router table and finish it up. So I love this tape because it's super easy to tear, as you can, can see. Um, and it's also super easy to clean up. There's, it leaves behind zero residue. Um, and it, it doesn't have any like gumminess to it so that the template can't shift around at all. Um, and it's really, really strong tape too. So I'm gonna put a couple of pieces down. I want them on kind of the four corners of the body shape. And then a couple of other pieces here and there. Just to kind of ensure that the template's not going to go anywhere. This tape is also pressure sensitive. Um, so you want to make sure you're really adding a lot of pressure to make it stick to the alder. 
peel this tape or this paper off. All right, so we've got our center lines lined up. Um, got this guy on there, I'm happy with that. A couple of things to think about on the router table is where you're gonna start and stop. I like to start and stop on the end grain, um, kind of back here. A, f a couple of times I, would s I had started kind of right here on the, this curve of the lo lower bout. And the issue with doing that is all grain is is a bunch of straws. Um, and when they're really short pieces, they're very weak. Um, so when I'd start here and I'd come back around, that remaining piece that I'd cut off was such short pieces of grain that sometimes it would, the router bit would catch it and tear it off. So I'd have a big tear out and I'd have to alter my shape to either get rid of it or scrap the piece altogether. Um, so we want to start and come back around and finish on in grid because it's going to be a lot stronger there, a lot less chance of tear out. So we're going to go to the router table and route this baby out. All right, so we are at the router table now. Um, you can use a typical router like this guy. Um, the only risk is when you are cutting out the shape like this, there is a chance that this could tip and will cut into the side of your body blank, which you really don't want. So I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the router table, and this guy has the bearing on the bottom. So I'm going to have my template side down. I'm going to start on the end grain. Um, I just want just a little bit of the bearing writing on the template. I want to cut as little as possible uh, this, these first few passes. Um, and then I'll switch to a, a longer bit um, so that I can cut all the way through the full depth of this. So I'm going to put on my safety equipment and get started. Alright, so we've got our first pass done. Um, I'm going to leave the template on it for now and I'm going to raise the bit a little bit just so I cut a little bit more. Uh, that depth was a little bit more than I wanted to cut on the first initial bit. Um, I'm sure you could see that there was that start of that tear out in here. Um, luckily, once we went over it with the bit, it removed everything that was torn out so we got a nice even bit here so we're not going to have to sand this part down and alter our shape at all. So I'm going to raise the bit up slightly. Alright, so now we're only going to be cutting about a quarter of an inch more uh, than we just cut.
All right, so we've got our template off. Um, I'm going to, I'm gonna lower the bit a little bit. Kind of cut this remaining section off in two passes. So we've got it lowered slightly. The bearing is now gonna be riding on the part of the body that we've already cut off. Um, put our safety equipment back on and keep going. All right, so now we're gonna see, we're gonna remove the rest of this without having to switch the bit. Not gonna happen. So in order to get the bit high enough to cut through the rest of this, the collet here is gonna hit the body. So that'd be catastrophic. So we are going to, Switch the bit out entirely. All right, so we've got our larger bit. down so it just clears through our material. All right, let's finish this off. All right, so we got our template traced onto our body. We cut it out with our bandsaw, uh, put the te template back on it, and use that to route out the shape of our body. Um, so be sure to start on the end grain, get past those dangerous parts uh, where the grain is really short. Um, I'm sure you guys saw that one piece tear out. Um, luckily it didn't go so deep that once the, the router bit went back over that, that section, he was able to clean up all that. Uh, so we're not gonna have to modify our shape at all, so that's good. While it's in this stage, um, because we sent it through our thickness sander, there's gonna be some um, sanding marks in the top and the back marks. I'm gonna take the orbital sander with 220 and try to get rid of all those marks, those sanding marks now, so that when we do our neck pocket and our humbucker cavities, and our Floyd Rose cavity, all that. It's gonna be much easier to run the orbital sander now, so it won't be hitting any of those edges and tearing up our sandpaper. So I'm gonna hit the top and the back with the orbital sander, get those sanding marks out. Um, I'm also gonna put this in my uh, vise and sand the perimeter of the guitar, get all of the machine marks from our router out, get all that cleaned up, because we're also going to put a chamfer, 45 degree chamfer, um, all around the top. So we want our curves to be nice and smooth, no rough spots. So yeah, I'm gonna do that, and in the next video, we're going to tackle the neck blank. So I have, initially, we were planning on doing a quarter sawn piece of maple, but while I was at the store, I found a really beautiful piece of like this blistery kind of bird's eye maple. Um, so I could use that for the neck. So comment below, and I want you guys to tell me if I should either stay the course and just go with that quarter saw maple, or if we should spice it up and go with that, that really pretty blistery bird's eye maple. So, body blank is done for now. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks.